today we're going to look at uh, the reasons why you should take your seat post in and out on a regular basis. When I say regular, we're talking at least once a month. See seat post is a pain in the backside basically. Uh, you know, if you ever want to go for a fitting or anything along that sort of thing, then having your seat post stuck makes life pretty difficult. Um, today you will need uh, probably either a four or a five mil Allen key, depending on your seat clamp size. Um, preferably a torque wrench to tighten it up afterwards to the recommended torque setting, and possibly two different finishes to go inside the seat post assembly. Uh, if you're using a carbon seat post, we want something like finish line fibre grip, um, it's designed for putting two carbon components together and not allowing to stick. If you're working with an either an aluminium, steel or titanium bike, then I'd recommend Juice Lube's uh, aluminium assembly grease. Um, again, it's called a grease, but it's meant to be, it's more like an anti-seize compound. Okay, so with our 4mm Allen key, we just want to relieve the pressure off the seat clamp, take the seat post out. This is a carbon, uh, an aluminium seat post but on a carbon frame. So we're going to use the fibre grip, take a small dollop of it, line it just on the inside of the uh, frame itself. Take your seat post, pop it back into the height where you want it, 4mm Allen key and just nip it up so it doesn't move anywhere. And then on this particular one it says tighten to 10 newton meters. So we're going to use our torque wrench and take it to 10. And again, tighten up until we get our recommended three clicks. And we're all sorted. Now if you do that once a month, you guarantee that your seat post is going to come out every single time. Um, whether you want to change a component or just have it moved, it's simple. Thank you.